Rapid Line is an uh, employee-owned company. We do contract manufacturing for office furniture primarily because that's kind of where we're located. But we also have a variety of other OEMs and such. We do some automotive and hospital and educational products too. And we have a vari wide variety of different processes. We try to get as much value added in-house as we possibly can. We've been focused on uh, quick response manufacturing so we meet the customer's requirements for speed of delivery. We've been doing lean or, for about our continuous improvement for about 18 years now and so continue to reduce the cost of the products we produce today and then we work on innovation for us innovation is mainly process improvements or combining processes throughout the plant uh, to again, improve the quality of the part reduce the cost and such many of our customers are large oems and they're extremely nervous about weld quality and penetration and such the arc welding robots really uh, do help some with regard to consistency of cost and process, but more importantly, uh, predictable, predictability of the welds. We can't always find the natural skills, hand-eye coordination that we maybe once did, or the, or the proficiency of a highly skilled welder anymore in the marketplace. And so the robot gives us that consistency of welds that we uh, need to have for our end customer. So we uh, uh, have really pretty much switched almost all our MIG welding over to uh, robotic welding. And in fact, uh, we're soon embarking on robotic TIG welding to take that to the next level too. You know, the world's gone to a, I call it the internet purchase model. I, I want to see what I can get right from my desk or my home. I'll order it and really ideally I'd like to have it tomorrow. And, and so that uh, purchasing model is kind of also driving the, the industrial side. Uh, so our average lot size continues to go down and the, uh, the lead times have gone down dramatically. We got uh, one customer that's a four hour turn. That forces you to have lots of cross training, lots of flexibility with your process. Forces us to have lots of people that can step in and program a robot. Uh, and then we do, um, we'll do uh, somewhere around uh, 800 jobs a week. So people have to have multiple skills and have to be able to step in wherever we need them. The world of robotic programming has gotten much more complex and, and certainly um, doing more complex assemblies uh, requires a lot more programming. We have uh, a couple guys that have been sent off to school, but the cost of that education and then staying current with it all the time is fairly expensive. Now we have multiple robots so you can spread that training cost over uh, a larger base. but. Um, we have some pretty good younger guys that uh, haven't been to school yet and we think the kinetic tool will help them get started on programming and they can do it relatively easy by moving the head to where they need it and, the, and then using their thumbs to program it such that uh, they can pretty much get up to speed in relatively short order and I don't have to spend the big dollars for the guy to go off to school and, and come back and be an expert. There's, there's certainly some learning curve, there's no question about it. And, you know, it's, uh, it's easier to just say, hey, Joe, go over and weld it. But um, as I say, the consistency and the quality of the welds uh, is a big improvement. Certainly the kinetic tool gets you into your first robot without having to have a $25,000 expenditure for trading on uh, robot programming. And then you start going down the road of automation. We didn't, we didn't jump in with nine robots from day one. We started with one and, and had our school of hard knocks on that. And as time went on, you know, we got another and another and such. So that um, you kind of build on that learning and you see what the possibilities are. We try to buy everything with a one-year ROI, so um, we're pretty stringent about how we uh, make capital purchases. But uh, I look at the robots a little differently in that uh, we get this dependable quality. Um, you can't have a chair with a base break in the field. I mean, that's just not acceptable. So if I can uh, rest assured that it's been welded with the same weld program and, and process time in, time out, that's uh, uh, a good ROI, but it's also good insurance. You know, the plus of a robot is they do the job day in, day out for us.